So the problem statement for this example is draw the free body diagram of the uniform bar which has a mass of 100 kilograms and a center of mass at point G. The supports A, B, and C are smooth. So let's go ahead and draw the free body diagram. So for the first step, of course, is to basically draw the object isolated from the its surroundings. So let's go ahead and do that. So we went ahead and drew the, the beam here, and we have the respective points A, B, C, and G. Now I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna go ahead and draw all the dimensions since we do have it in the image above. But one thing to note is this beam is making contact at points A, B, and C. And this means since it has a mass of 100 kilograms, that means we have the weight being applied to the center of mass, which is point G. In this case, we have the weight weighing down the bar itself. So mass times gravity. So this is the weight being applied at the center of mass of an object. Okay, that's step one. Of course, since it's laying on the ground, we're going to have reactionary forces at those contact points. And one key, um, one key word that was mentioned in the problem statement was the supports at A, B, C are smooth. Essentially, what that means is at that point, there will, there will only be one instantaneous point where it will contact the ground. So you will concentrate that force at that instantaneous point. And when th there's only contact at one point, it's always going to be normal. The force, the reactionary force is always going to be normal of the surface itself. So in this case, when we have the floor here, at point B is going to be perpendicular to the surface or normal to that surface. So that means this reactionary force here at B is only going to have the Y components, call it B, Y. This is the reactionary force of this one. Now for A, it's the same thing. It's a smooth, it's contacting the wall at one instantaneous point, and therefore the force is going to be normal to, the reactionary force will be normal to the surface. In this case, it's going to be horizontal. So the reactionary force at point A is only along the horizontal direction or the X coordinate. So we have A sub X here. Now for point C, we have it contacting at one instantaneous point and it needs to be perpendicular to the contact surface. In this case, the beam perpendicular, the force would be at this angle here. Let's call it this one. Um, it's going to be both along the X and the Y direction. Let's just call it the magnitude C here. And so now the question is at what angle from, you, you could either use the, the horizontal or the vertical direction. In this case, let's go with the vertical and it's 30 degrees. Since we see that this um, beam is being elevated at a 30 degree angle, this um perpendicular force will have that same 30 degrees and so this is your free body diagram for this um, problem statement so as you can already tell it's pretty easy to determine when where to apply the weight which is always going to be the center of mass of an object but when it comes to the reactionary forces you need to know depending on what kind of support you have this will help you determine at what um, what angles will they be applied to is it just a force normal to the surface that's being um, in contact with do you have just the Y component or a X and a Y. So those are things to keep in mind.